this is a quick tutorial on how to power a car amplifier and a car subwoofer inside your house. Um, problem is, is car amplifiers and subwoofers, they operate on a 12 volt DC, which is what you get from your battery in your car, your negative and your positive, they put out 12 volts. Uh, everything that operates in your house that plugs into the wall is 110 voltage AC. So to bridge the gap, you need a DC power supply. There's many ways to do this. This is probably the cheapest way to do it. And I had one of these laying around the house. This is an Xbox 360 power brick uh, from your power cord that used to go to the 360. So on one end, you have your regular power cord that you'll plug into the wall. On the other end, <clears throat> you would have this cable. This is what would go to the back of the console. So all you do is you cut that cable off. Now I've cut mine off pretty short because I've changed my power and ground wire to car audio. Well, 12 volt. So when you cut it, this is what it will look like. You'll cut back the uh, insulation and peel it back and you'll be left with four yellow wires, four black wires, and then a red and a blue. The four yellows are going to be your power, your four blacks <clears throat> will be your negatives or your grounds, and then the uh, red and blue, what that does is they go to the, uh, the console and they work with your uh, power button on the front of your 360. So when you hit the power button, it shorts those two wires out, which will then turn on your power supply we don't have that power button anymore so all I did was I cut them and I uh, shorted them together so once you plug in this power supply it's always on now there's no power switch the other way around it is simply uh, putting in a, a one-way toggle switch here um, so you could have control of your power supply on and off and it's pretty simple so your four yellows will go to a, uh, a wire and it'll go into the uh, the power terminal and then you'll take your four blacks go to the negative and put into the negative terminal some people have spliced these yellows and blacks and ran them directly into the amp I just chose to um, put some 10 gauge on it so there's less resistance and everything works I'm, uh, it only puts out uh, 14 amps I believe um, so it's 12 volts but 14 amps which is a little low but you know it definitely powers everything up you could use it to test car audio equipment um, and also to note this is only going to give you uh, low end sound uh, low frequencies because it's a subwoofer and you've got an EQ built in on the amp you're using the low pass filter so you'll need to have another stereo I have it tied into my uh, my home theater, my Polk Audio home theater system, and I'll give it a quick demo for you. Want to play it, Ter? So as you can see, it's decent. Um, it's in a sealed enclosure, which is not ample um, for performance in a big living room. You'd want something that's ported, but it does the trick. And I've been playing it, nothing's overheated. Um, just when you splice into your, your four yellows and four blacks, just tape everything uh, good with electrical tape, keep everything isolated. And it's probably the cheapest 12 volt power supply you can find. Thanks. Don't try to set.
No. No, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home.